cutting-edge performance vehicles. Oh, and bricks. Lots and lots and lots of LEGO bricks. We've teamed up with LEGO to create the biggest event Horizon has ever assembled. It's time for LEGO Speed Champions. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Whoa! Build your very own LEGO house. And then fill your garage with scaled up racing machines to take on the competition and be crowned the ultimate LEGO Speed Champion. Time to play with the biggest LEGO toy box you've ever seen. <laughs> Welcome to Forza Horizon 4 LEGO Expansion Let's Play. This series is going to be going on for a couple of days now. I don't know exactly what we're going to have time for in today's video, but... We're going to be doing things like the barn find, doing Lego customization, all of that good stuff. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. I'm really excited about this Lego expansion. There's so many things to jump into and check out with it. And just a lot of unknowns, really. And that's what we're going to be discovering over the next couple of days. So I really want to go find the Lego barn find, though. Alrighty, boys, let's get into our Lego cars. Right. So like Hope I was saying, this is my first time like. ever playing this thing. Usually I go to E3 to get hands-on ASAP, but this year I did not say hello to LEGO Speed Champions and Horizon 4. It is so weird driving a car that looks like this. It's like, I've been told it's the exact same physics as the normal game, and I've been told that, like, the cars handle exactly the same way. But for some reason, like, I don't know if it's because it looks like this, it feels different. Like, it feels really different. I know it's just, like, my head messing with me, but I feel like I'm getting a lot of understeer out of the car. I'm not able to turn super hard, but whatever. Let's get to it. We need the bricks to fall off our car. Hold on. We need to wreck it. It's a little bit strange. It's not the fastest car. Oh, let's send it into the wall. See the, see the bricks fall off? That's what I like. That's what I like. That is really cool. Seeing the whole city built out of Legos, too. Very cool. So here we go. Finished up our two little, like, tutorial missions. Hey, we get an achievement. Thanks, game. Welcome to the Lego Speed Champion something or rather. Arrive at your master builder's Lego house area. Play, plate, whatever you want to call it. Thank you, game. I what do hear you hear the song. The Pretty sweet, huh? We've hooked you up with a new house. Well, kind of. But we saved you the best spot in the festival. Lego needs a speed champion. And the festival needs master builders. And you, you need a place to live. This is the base plate where you'll be building your very own master builder's house. For those of you who didn't watch the videos I made on the LEGO expansion before, basically what we need to go and do is do a bunch of challenges that basically give us bricks. First things first. These ones. You need bricks. Lots of bricks. You can get them by completing brick challenges. Think of it like a big box of Lego to play with. The question is, which one will it be first? These challenges range from everything to completing races, completing other races. You can go and do silly challenges like this one. This is the one I spoke about in the video. Smash 20 traffic cones in 45 seconds. We can go do speed zones, get different stars on them and everything like that. Collect your for first bonus board, find the city center, three ultimate air skills. It's all pretty basic stuff, and we're going to unlock a lot just from just from doing them. But I guess we'll bang out that one Let's for now. This. So we'll get three stars at the little brick worth speed zone. I'm in a Mini Cooper. I've just realized this isn't going to work. <laughs> so before I, before I go and investigate our little three-star bonus thingamabobber, I want to see what else is in here. Garage, tuning and upgrades. Custom upgrades. Engine. So you can upgrade the engine on your little cars. All right. So this thing has 450 horsepower. Or, sorry, 375 horsepower. I'll toss that on because why not? We've got performance and handling. We could do weight reduction and conversion. Rear wheel drive? Rear wheel drive. No, thank you. Hopefully, with our other cars, we'll be able to swap on things like the Lego tire compound. We'll see how all that works, but let's go and... Try to bang this out. Let's try to paint the car real quick. So if we go to paint the car. Yeah, okay. We can only do manufacturer colors. That's what I predicted. And then you can actually go in here and like mess about with everything and really have your car. Wait. 
Mr. Bean Mini. So you can't tint your windows, you can't paint your wheels. I don't actually have wing mirrors, so that one kind of makes sense. Wait, so the only place you can put a vinyl on the rear of this car is right there. Yo, look at our little dude. You can finally see our person's, like, hands inside. That's what I was talking about, how you can't actually, like, touch the wheel. Makes sense, but okay. So our speed zone's just up here. We needed three stars. Don't know what three stars is on this, but we're in a little mini. I should have mentioned things are a little different. Oh, it's a speed zone. Oh, I thought it was a speed trap. My bad. Thank you, Kira. Uh, was that the challenge you were going for? Never mind, it still counts. I got nice one. Oh, I got two stars. Hey, thanks, game. Would you look at that? Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get three stars in my little mini Cooper. I, I, I will be honest. So, you know what? Let's go do a race. Because I can bang that out pretty easily. The game will tell me where I need to go. Oh, I'm going up here. Okay. Wait, I'm in a drift zone. So I think I get, like, bricks for doing just about everything. At least on the early, st like, start of this game. Because I've never done anything before. Yo, those Lego houses look so cool. Yeah, because I've never done anything before, even getting one star here will be, like, pretty easy to do. But let's go. Like, 50,000 points, 60,000 points. It's nothing crazy, but that should be enough stars to, like, do something with, right? Oh, wait, I'm not at the right place. I, I went to totally the wrong area. So let's start this up. I don't actually know what the barn's even going to look like in here, but I would imagine it's going to take us, like, a couple of different, like... We're gonna have to get a certain number of bricks and then we'll trigger it. The- this- this is what I'm gonna run. I'm gonna have it on the hardest difficulty. I don't really know what we're gonna be racing against, but... We'll figure it out. We'll see how we do. Nobody else is in a Lego car. It's only me. This isn't gonna go very well. But okay. Alright, so this is actually an off-road race. This is a rally race. Let's smash it through. I've got my cosmetic damage on. So our bumpers should come off and stuff. That's gonna be cool. Let's see. No, nope, no bumpers yet. All right, the AI is kind of slow though. Okay. Yo, I love how I can just hear everything is awesome. Super faint in the background. <laughs> We're gonna play the entire expansion with that on, I think. Everybody wants interior view? There you go. That's what interior view looks like. No, you cannot see your hands on this steering wheel. It's definitely a little strange. But I mean, it kind of makes sense if you think of how Lego arms work. It actually drives like a really normal car though. I mean, the one kind of weird thing is that it has like tires on the roof and it makes it really tall and like tippy. Other than that though, it's pretty standard car to drive. I, I don't want to come second or third in my first ever Lego race. Like, come on. We might need to upgrade the mini a little more. I totally got that checkpoint. Come on, come on. That didn't go super well, but we can do better. Okay, really? RS200s for everybody? For those of you who don't know, the RS200 is one of the fastest off-road cars in this game. Thanks, AI, for being so nice against my little Lego car. Well, did we actually need to win the race to get the bricks, or did we just need to complete it? No. Okay, we just needed to complete it. All right, there we go. So we get that done. We have 140 bricks. Or we need 140 bricks to build our house. All right, look at all these, like, races, though. Because I did a race, it opens up more races and stuff. And because I did a PR stunt, it opens up more PR stunts. I mean, I guess we'll go do another race. 140 bricks over there. Or, sorry, 40 bricks over there. I guess it's definitely not worth it to, like, fast travel anywhere. At least at the beginning of this expansion. Nice. <laughs> because if you, if you fast travel, you're not going to get any of the exploration stuff. Because you need to drive down roads, you need to get, like, bonus boards, you need to get everything like that. Do I get- do I get anything from this? Maybe? I don't know if I get anything from that. No, I guess not. D oh yeah, I did! I got a thing! Show the full map. Alright, for those of you who want to see the map, here you go. Take a look. Enjoy. This is what it looks like. We've got all these different areas. So this- this is, like, the mainland. That is where you go back to, like, the regular- Forza Horizon 4 world. We got the whole pirate ship area over here. I wonder if you can get out to that thing. That'd be really cool. Then we've got the super mega awesome adventure stunt park. I'm not even joking. That's what the actual name is. Uh, the airport is over here. Quite cool as well. 
We've got the city. This is the whole city area right here. There's a lot of roads in there. I can see my hide and seek in Forza Horizon Lego being a little bit difficult. And then the racetrack is all the way at the top up here. Very, very cool. It's a tri-oval um, with like a whole infield and a pit box and everything. Super cool racetrack. Definitely want to give that a go. It's going to take us a little while to figure out everything that's included in this expansion. So bear with us, but we'll get there eventually. Let's do another race though for the moment. I'm sticking on the hardest difficulty. We'll see what happens. I've never driven on any of these roads. Except this race looks... Wait a second. Wait a sec. Wait. Am I doing the right race? Am I do? What race is this? I went to the wrong area. <laughs> I see, I see, I see. So there's two challenges for that race. So it says complete, complete the Brickchester Rally event. And then win the Brickchester Rally event. So this is actually another race. The Lego Festival Sprint. Completing it and winning it. Makes sense now. Now we're doing a different race. Still hardest difficulty. So we can bang out two challenges at one or at once if we get the dub. Which would be awesome. That's 60 bricks too. So let's go. I wonder if you can complete the other challenges. Like, if I crash into cones, like if I crash into all of these, does that count towards my cone progress? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Hey, I got a I got a challenge. What did I do? I don't even know what I did. I got Road Rammer? Whatever that means. They're all taking the same car again. They're all in the RS200. Like, we're not going off-road this time, boys. Come on. Got up. That didn't go super well. Yo, the stunt part. Yo, okay, that looks cool. I want to mess around there. Yeah, 150 miles an hour top speed. Yikes. And I, ha I hit the tree. <laughs> I hit the tree with my tire. There's legitimately nothing I can do in this little Lego car. It's not fast enough. The AI is doing their Forza Chidi AI thing as per always. Like, look at him go through the co- And they're just using faster cars than me. I want to be living the Lego spirit, man. Fun. <laughs> the mini's cool, but it's not fast enough. Well, there we go. We got another 20, 20 bricks. All right, if I could actually win a thing, that'd be great. Hold on a second. There's a drag race at the airport. It's actually right next to us. Apparently not everything's made out of destructible Lego. <laughs> Hold on. So if I get this beauty zone, or this beauty spot, I think that's bricks as well. So that's one of five beauty spots discovered. And I didn't actually get any... Okay. Re okay. Yeah, it turns out not everything's destructible. For my drag race, I'm going to get out of the Lego car. This should be fast enough to get a win. So AI, good luck. Keep up with this thing. Yeah. We're... All right, yeah, that drag strip isn't as long as I thought it would be. 7.2 seconds. All right, well, I got my first win in Lego Valley. That's amazing. That should be 60 bricks, I think. There we go. Complete the brick chest... Brick chester... Whatever it's called. There you go. 60 bricks. Fantastic. Much better. So how far are we away now? We are 20 bricks away. So hold on. If I get like earn three stars at the stunt park speed trap, I can do that. All right, here we go. Slow down for the corner. In. Full beans. Full beans, Shelby. Oh, it's in the ground. And through the speed trap, 242 miles an hour. It's my first time ever through it. We get one. Oh. Hey, Nick. Congratulations. You're ready to begin the first construction of your Lego house. Meet me here. Thank you. All right. So we get five bricks because I did it on... Or I did one star. I get 15 because I did two stars. And because I got three stars, 40 bricks. That's a really easy way to get bricks. Okay. Just bang out the PR stunts. Takes no time at all. Our first level of our Lego house. Fantastic. We got a little dog house and everything. There we go. Now, you might be playing with Lego, but this is a Horizon event after all. So, every time you upgrade your house, we'll throw in some rewards for you. Okay, very cool. I don't know what these rewards are. New brick challenges unlocked and unlocked brick bonus cubes. Oh, I do know what those are. So they've like hidden things around the world. How if you crash into them, you get like skill place? points. Now, I was doing some work for Lego and I found instructions for a full scale Lego Ferrari F40. 
You want to be a speed champion? Get me some bricks. These new brick challenges should help. So if we get another 360 bricks, we get a Lego Ferrari F40. Yo, look at all the challenges we have. This is good. 200 bricks for what? Smash 500 bonus cubes. We're gonna be here forever. I like it. I really like the way they did this whole thing and like organized it. It's very cool. Aha, Lego Speed Champion. So we've got the Lego Ferrari F40, the Lego Mini Cooper, the Lego Senna. I mean, if you want to buy one, good luck. You'll never find one. But there, there you go. So, I mean, there are more than the three cars that we've seen, right? We know that there's a barn find, but we just haven't gone far enough into the expansion yet to trigger it. So, I guess we'll have to do the barn find tomorrow. So, as I was saying, make sure you subscribe for that. But let's, let's go do another race. I really want to go up to the racetrack. The Speedway Sprint. All right, we'll take a nice drive up there. I'm not driving this thing anymore because this thing's a handful. So let's head up to the racetrack. I want to see what it looks like. And we should also be able to bang out three stars with this thing pretty easily. Like the speed zone should not be a... Turn. Turn. Thank you. Shouldn't be a problem. I think we needed 150 miles an hour there. Nope, we got three stars. Nice. So we got three stars in the speed zone. So that should be 40 big bricks, I think. Another drift zone? Yo, there are so many drift zones in this world. I, I brought the wrong car to go drifting in. But that's really cool. All right. Drifting fans, Lego is going to be your play area. Damn, I'm, okay. I don't even know where this takes me, but I got to take... Okay. Nice. Very nice. I like it. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. I've gone the wrong way. I've gone the wrong way. I don't know this map at all yet. Up here? No, that's, uh... Yeah, you really gotta learn about what walls you can and can't throw go through in this expansion because it throws you off for sure. Start up our race. How do I get over there? Can I just come through here? Oh, yeah. Nice. All right, there are a lot of roads on here. Okay. <laughs> People are being... Please turn that song off. <laughs> All right. Ascari. Let's go, buddy. We got this. I turned off the radio, so... This is going to be our first look at the little racetrack in the LEGO expansion. Very, very early on impressions. Very cool. We've got all, like, the pit boxes. Proper pits down there. Nicely done. Very cool. And we got, like, big banked corners, too. Oh, I want to do Forza Horizon 4 LEGO NASCAR. Yo, I'm just saying, if they do end up adding more LEGO cars, I want that LEGO stock car. Because I want to do Lego NASCAR. Honestly, though, early on impressions, what? I've been playing the expansion now for just about an hour. Very, very cool. I like this thing a lot. I know there were a lot of people who were saying, we don't want this, that, or the other. But you can do what I'm doing right now, right? You can jump in a normal car and then suddenly you've got all these new roads to go and explore. And all these new possibilities to go and do. I like the idea of the campaign. I feel like it's fun. I love the little challenges. I love building up your house and the method of unlocking cars. Really, really cool. And overall, I think I'm going to enjoy it. I know there was a lot of hate early on. I was even on the fence about this thing because I was just like, how do you make a Lego expansion in a car game? And I feel like, honestly, they pulled it off pretty nicely. So our challenges are doing well. We're progressing. Our Ferrari is 300 bits away. Now, we can't get the barn find yet. I assume the barn find's somewhere up here. We're, we're of course, going to be playing this again tomorrow, all throughout the weekend as well. So, if you want to see more, make sure you subscribe. But, yeah, next episode, we'll do a bunch more exploring. We'll try customizing some more cars. We'll unlock the Ferrari uh, F40 as well. So, we can see if my customization is on that thing. Because I think there's going to be some cool stuff.